You know the standard stories of people falling for each other. It's girl meets girl, they fall in love, get married, and sail into the sunset living happily ever after. In Ashling and Catherine's case, however, it's a lot more complicated. It's girl has a boyfriend, boyfriend has a best friend, girl falls in love with his best friend, girl doesn't dump boyfriend so she can spend time with his best friend. Boyfriend gets cast aside and the girl and his, perhaps unsurprisingly, now former best friend, get married and live happily ever after. <laughs> It's my great pleasure and privilege on behalf of my family and Catherine's family to welcome you all here today at this amazing venue on this glorious day to celebrate the marriage of Ashling and Catherine. It's only going to take a few moments for Catherine and Ashling to say these words. But these words are incredibly special. Ashling, even before we met in person, I knew that we'd be standing here today. I don't know exactly what it was that made me feel that way, but I just had this instinct feeling that you were different, that you were the one for me. So in order to keep you happy throughout our marriage, here are a few promises that I make to you today. I promise to make all of the phone calls that you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> to stand by you and support you in anything and everything you want to do, as I've learned that you can do literally anything you put your mind to. And to buy you surprise gifts on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> I love you with all my heart and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Catherine, I knew from the day we first met that you were going to be something special and important to me. And as you know from our arguments, I'm never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Being here today and promising to love you for the rest of my life is one of the easiest decisions I've ever made. It was easy six years ago, and it's even easier now. <laughs> you celebrated with me through some of the best days of my life. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Stood with me through the very worst. And arguably, most importantly, you laugh at the majority of my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect woman. You've encouraged me through every crazy idea and new hobby with a completely misplaced optimism. <laughs> you've consistently given me the bigger half of every meal we've ever shared. And you've shown me kindness and unconditional love when I certainly haven't deserved either. So my promise to you today is to try and return the favour to you every day for the rest of our lives. May these rings that form a visible seal to the marriage contract be a reminder to you both of the vows and the promises that you have made to each other today. Let those rings be a sign that love has a past, a present and a future. May you always be able to laugh together, confide in each other and be the very best of friends. Your married life is starting today and with the support of your family and friends, may it be a life full of love and happiness. It really does give me the greatest of pleasure to pronounce that you are now married. So let's seal it with a kiss. <laughs> Every wedding is special, of course, but to see your daughter get married is something else. Ashley, I walked down the aisle this afternoon. <laughs> it's a memory I shall cherish. You look absolutely amazing and beautiful in your stunning wedding dress. Yeah. 
Uh, without you all here today, it wouldn't be the same. It'd be cheaper, but it wouldn't be the same. <laughs> <laughs> So when I was thinking about what to put in this speech, I thought I'd get some inspiration for looking at old photos. A couple of them spring to mind. One is of Ashling, dressed only in her pants, crawling around on the floor, gurgling and dribbling. In another, she's trying to get up, a bit unsteady on her feet, and a tiny little bit of sick dribbling down from her <laughs> They're the only pictures I've got from her hen night, sir. Of course, they're very special <laughs> to me. <laughs> Catherine Nashling, I'm so proud of you both for all that you've overcome and for all you are about to achieve. I wish you a lifetime of happiness and I'll always be here for you both. I couldn't be happier standing here today as maid of honour, watching my best friend marry the love of her life, and I'm so excited to be able to share this journey with you both. I can't end this speech without giving a shout out to our lovely dad, who was always so supportive of the girls. I remember the day Ashlyn came out to mum and dad, and dad's literal reaction was a very sarcastic, no. <laughs> he literally said nothing else. <laughs> I dad love Catherine, and I know that he's smiling down on you both today. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to put your hands together and welcome to the floor for the first dance, your brides for the day. I've been trying to imagine what you'd look like in your dress, but nothing compares to the real thing. <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful, and you took my breath away when I saw you down the aisle. I feel so lucky to finally be able to call you my wife. So let's raise a glass to my new wife. <laughs> here's to the past for all that you learnt, here's to the present for all that you share, and here's to the future for all you look forward to together. Raise your glasses to Ashling and Catherine, the brides.